Hello and thank you so much for tuning in for yet another episode of Y254's Unfinished. My name is Karen Jessa and today we are engaging on the topic of exam cheating. So, yes, KCP ilipata watu last week na butwa. Yani they were not expecting the results, but who is the ministry? Yes, they released the, ex the uh, exam results na wasiwa kapata exams zao. But we kulikuwa na question marks mahali juu. Wasi walipati kana wali cheat, eh, walipata results zao. So maze sit back, relax and let's engage. Pale nyumbani, head over to our Facebook page ama Instagram ni Y254 channel. Let us know what's, what's your opinion on these three topics. Karibu. So recently exams za 2020 zilitoka na of course gaba ili come up na a new policy ikasema kama ulipatikana uli cheat in these exams the KCPE examiners ama invigilators ama principal waondo walikuwa nafaa kupanishiwa instead of students juu kitambo ilikuwa students kama amepatikana ame cheat alikuwa anapewa x ama y depending on the level of cheating but this time around, the exam center itself, the whole eternity, that is the teachers, the principal, the invigilator. Eh? You saw these children who were going to cheat, and you had an idea that they had the exam papers already before they were doing this exam. So we want to know from you, do you support this new style of punishing examiners as opposed to punishing the students? Let us know. Dogo, I, I mean on I think in a far split kwa sababu pia shule inaenda kufundisha mtu morals unaona so uh, they should also be responsible to you know a degree so hiyo kuitoa kabisa yote i don't think ina ina idea in the long run kwa sababu you know it will be easy to ni kama ku um, you do something but you don't take care of the responsibility with, that comes with your actions. So I, I don't, I, I, maybe they should have, at least to some degree, Atakama see, you know, like, uh, Atakama see, you know, getting away the results, maybe find something that's a bit lenient, but they should at least uh, go responsible for the action. I don't support, because two parties are involved, the students and the examiners. So the students should be penalized, because they are actually the ones who are involved in cheating, and also the examiners, because maybe they were a bit uh, not cautious for the students to cheat. So both partners, sorry, both parties should be penalized. According to me, I support your style. Because as we know in Kenya, there is a lot of economic economy our cartels. So as we know students, our students don't have that much connection. So we know students have to be assisted so that they can cheat in the examination. Because I believe that uh, those, there are some oper operators at NEC. So our operators don't have to the examination. Because I believe examination is normally sealed. Uh, so for, you can't tell me a student in Mars a bit, and I have to go NEC head office. I have to break down the rooms on a storm piano. Na ki break down apo, I don't think so. So I think kuna makatels. Now the government should crack a whip. The government should crack a whip at those people. Yeah, so the big fish kwanza wa shikwe. So before they reach out to the small people. It's a bit in a bit. So maybe BOA exam. Like kuna just as in any monofunzi to kuna plan zake. So meshugulika ki vyake tu wakapata yo. Yo maji. Um, so as in a mapata tu na mwadibu mwalimu bila yuko na makosa ama sign vigi letter ili usazini mapata wasaidiani but kuna cases enye sasa unapata kwa meusika pia so kienda design kama ya kwamba wanadibio walimu principal vigi letters hiyo ni sawa lakini saa si kila mahali ta apply kuna kuhino wajua ni mwanafunzi ndo unakuja na plan zake tu nini so uh, si fair vile. Unajua saata atuseme kama umechi tukapata E. Unaweza enda kwa hiyo job uliko unaitafta. Tena hiyo job ushinde kudu. So itabidi umejiblem. Urudi tena. Urudi ya tena hiyo kosi. Na wale wenye wamepata D. Wanaweza kanyimo kuingia kampo. 
kwa hii sasa amejaribu ku make effort at least akona sasa but sasa ule ame cheat ndo sasa inabidi kwake inakuwa ngumu juu sasa hiyo hizo ma max si zake ndo ame struggle si kama ule mwenye ame struggle akapata di huyo sasa anafatu ndo anafaa cancel ile I do support Magoha situation because you know uh, Kitambo hey man this Kenya have been having issues about examinations you know mara wareva watu wameshikwa but we don't see people wameshikwa Magoha said last night at some time ago at kesi mitokelezia lakini hao watu watashikwa why they you seen them no right can you have an action on this? Because Magua, Akusha Magua is a good guy. Because he's so serious sometimes. Like, his words, now we need his words to be in action. That's all about that this year. Also, Atukwe, our Majama, wanna try Kukuiba, Ichan. Wafunge. So people will be okay. We'll say, hey, now, there's an evidence, right? Now we're okay. We're okay. People have been arrested. Wamiba Mutan. Now it's okay as a minister. Now, when you talk only, you have to put your action. I'm supporting these new directives uh, because uh, it is the teachers and the invigilators who are having the fault here. Because if they are strict, uh, especially the teachers and the principal in school, they should bring up the students, preparing them for the exams and making sure that during the exam they don't cheat all along. But now if the mistake is that found that the students are cheating and then it will be the faults of the invigilators and the teachers and uh, uh, the principal of that school. I'm supporting that because they, if they have become strict before, I don't think the student will have the courage of cheating when the rules are very strict. I, I would support it and uh, the reason is because I think cheating can be a concerted effort. If and what's the point of the invigilator if the students are just given free reign to cheat? So there's a, there's a role that they play and there's a reason why they are the invigilator. And unfortunately, with such an office comes responsibility and they need to do their job, simply, simply put. Yeah? Um, to a sense, uh, if indeed actually they are supporting the cheating, they should be punished. However, like in any other scenario, the instances where people are actually innocent and they did their level best to invigilate, but still it happened. So in such a case, I think it's, it, 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 it would be a good idea to do a sort of investigation. And if they indeed facilitated the cheating, then they should be punished. I'm going to support Kwasabagu. It's all about leadership. No, no. Leadership, uh, if, you, if you can't influence somebody, you can't lead. So leadership is all about influence. So if we have good leaders who are the invigilators and they tell us, uh, they show us the way we should follow on maybe let's say being uh, integrity and no, no. so I support because I want to be able to be to be able to to be I think it's the students who should bear the consequences of trying to cheat, although there could be many reasons why they cheat. So as much as uh, the government has changed the objective of the invigilators suffering, um, most of the time it's, it happens without the invigilators' no knowledge. So I don't think it's fair for the invigilator to uh, suffer the brunt of it. I'll tell you a short story or back in my day, Sikuza KCP, Zita mention in which year exactly, but ilikuwa kasate near two zero zero something hapo. Uh, during our time, people were found uh kukwa wame cheat. Okay? Na ulipat ukipatikano na cheat will kuna pewa X ama Y. Na ukipatikano kona X, hey. Na kila mtu alikuwa none yo X, by the way. And people knew eh. Hey, that school, that school cheated, you know, and students were given X's. Now, maybe what a shukisha kama kuna mwenye haku cheat, yes, ama ali achieve nini, alikuwa na peo at least max kidogo kama so nini, you know. However, this time round, makatels, zile shule zina semekananga tu kila saa, zina pita, zina pita, zina pita tu. 
I think that is where uh, kwa nini e policy na e directive imepeanwa ni kwa sababu ya hawa makatels tunaweza tunajaribu kumaliza hawa makatels mazi juu corruption kwa hii country haitaisha so lazima sasa we start shooting at these big kingpins hawa wenye wako na mikono mikono mirefu eh mikono i mean mikono zina zina penetrate kwa hizi examination centers so i support it because uh, in a way these people who are you know doing this giving the students marks on our party answers and all these things they won't have to do that kwa sababu wewe kama mwalimu you don't to lose your job no you will not want to lose your job you will want to feed your family and in that case exam cheating let me just say it's it's a shot on the head so yeah it's a shot on the head so yes we are highly likely going to achieve history ya kukatawa si kuchit so yes i support it i support it completely na pia ikienda sana na unajua studia na cheat inajua pia mwalimu uh, ataangalia na atasema mimi juu sitaki ku lose job yangu this child achaende uh, apeleke hapo mbele so of course we're going to achieve this our second question guys i uh, would like to know from you of course uh, history are cheating who is to blame would you put the blame on the system or what's your pick when i look back i feel like system takes most of the blame to be honest It, it does because you know the pressure that comes with being in school is just so much so much a lot i mean i hated my high school because of that is the pressure so it should be on the system and also the cultural practices that the students are being exposed to you see like in our country sorry to say corruption is the routine so even for them they think cheating or using shortcuts is the way to go which is not right so the students need to be educated but again still we as the adults need to mentor them in the right way so i cannot really blame the teachers as such it's a whole uh, it's a whole entity as i can say i think we need to blame the system because as you know ata kikuja kwa corruption uh, we know kenya is ranked highly So I think it all boils down to everything. In Kenya for you to get a job, education, everything, corruption. Lazima ujue mtu kwa ofisi, same way in education. Ukitaka kupita during my time nilifanya KCSE 2014. So during my time there was a lot of cheating, especially the year 2015 immediately I left. So what we used to be told even the own principal is that you find some top national schools. I want to mention their names. Um unapata their their principals wanaenda wanapea na pesa mtiani na makiwa vizuri. So yenyo imakiwa vizuri. So unapata your examination ina makiwa. Yenyo ina makiwa normally but theirs is been marked special. So that special unapata a school has 100 students, 95 got straight A's. How? You can't be genius all of you. System yenyo si fit vile wasi. Si fit. Eh unapata sasa hiyo hiyo system yenyo sahi na apply alafu kakuja kapata na pandemic tena kapata watu wako shule so wanafunzi kitu rahisi anaweza kuwa naona ni cheat kama mimi sasa sijakuwa na sati nimekuwa ni kidu asol mbili tatu na think kurudi chuo lakini kwa tule sasa hizi marules tunaona huwezi ka survive high school sai plus say at least at, a, a lot of students wameharibika juu sa ingine kuna hizi strikes. Sa ingine kama last year unaona kulikuwa na strike ya the whole year juu ya covid. Sa kama wale walikuwa wanafanya exam na jo wali fail juu ya work so man. Dolko unaona kwa, kwa nini wanaiongelelea kwa radio. Wanaongelelea kama watoto watu chuo ama wafanye iwe ni form force peke yake. Bana Magoha is there as a minister of education. Uh, he's trying to try to handle that kind of system which we don't know as citizens eh? but now he's trying to show up but now we need him to show up nicely on the table eh? yeah say this and this is what was happening now have these ambitions to not ever again kenya have such kind of issues i can say we like him actually so good i think there is a problem in the system uh, especially the kcse uh, that is 844 in general 
the system is uh, bringing up the student in a way that uh, if they don't pass, they are not going to the universities and get the, the careers that they want to, to do in their life. So uh, students have that mentality, uh, especially the KCSEA, that they have to pass no matter what. That's why they are even cheating and making it all possible to pass. Uh, because the system is in a way that if you don't pass, you don't get the career you want to do. I, I think if there was a, a greater system where the student are specialized in some way, I think the cheating will have reduced. Just like I was telling your colleague, um, yes, the system is partly to blame. And I also think um, our society in itself, in how we actually uh, judge achievement and how we, you know, for you to progress to the next step, for you to get, you know, to, to get a job in the future, yeah? you have to like skip a number of, you know, ladders. And unfortunately, the exam is one of the major ones and it can determine your future. So I think part of the reason why people cheat is, you know, it, it gives them a shortcut, yeah? If I can go to the next step as quickly as possible, well and good. I think that's why people cheat a lot. And we, you know, unlike in other societies where we try to judge achievement based on several things, not necessarily just academic excellence. Uh, you know, the, the, the impetus to cheat is lower. Uh, and, uh, you know, because somebody will be successful regardless. So I think we need to change those attitudes in our society and how we judge achievement. That it's not a must that you, you know, uh, get a job at some company somewhere. You know, teach people how, you know, teach them life skills. How to start a business, how they can actually, you know, develop themselves without necessarily focusing too much on the exam. Yeah, because I think we tend to, we focus on the wrong things. So in a sense, the system and the society itself is to blame. Uh, the society, unfortunately, is, uh, I mean, given the current economic circumstances, living in sub-Saharan Africa is a, is a challenge by itself. I, I don't think it's, uh, you can, you know, entirely blame the people. So I, it, it's a lot of things that are just working, you know, together to, you know, compromise the entire situation. The reason I'm today to cheat because of the influence on then kuna it kuna kongana e routine it's like a cult and yeah if you don't get a a if you don't get a b or a c you will fail actually you will not fail i uh, look at one of the some of the most successful people jack ma elon musk those people dropped out of college they didn't want those grades so you don't have to get a a or a b just simply do your exams now work on your way to success as much as the Kenyan system is, has improved quite a lot, I think that the, this system is entirely focused on performance rather than the learning of the child. I mean, um, so it gives a lot of pressure to the students to cheat so that they just can keep everyone happy and I don't think that's right. Um, so as much as uh, cheating is wrong, I think we, all, we should also look at the cause of these problems. Man finished business with this particular topic. Well, how about to blame what we are really? Number one, society. Alafu number two, the system. Society kwa nini? Kwa society, sana sana wanataka kwe kama na ni. Unajua, ile story ya, unafakuwa kama na ni. So, yes, this story yote ya kuchit, maze, will blame it on the system, na society. System pia kwa sababu system, Eh, imefanya exams ikuwe ni kama kupita exams eh maze that is like kama mpita exams we uko we to determine where you're smart you're intelligent you know you're correct you're right come on guys exams has imanishi ati unafaa kupita because these are just a set of questions na sazimine you're given ta a, a time to prepare for these exams so if you pre prepare well utapita then kuna wenye you know uh, life skills then they depend on life skills so all these things system in a fakwanga lazy bitu walete kama ni bitu na kushona nini hizi bitu za music ziko introduced back into the education system na wasi waweze ku balance the two that is 
kupita exams na life vile inafaa kukua life yenyewe economics hizi tu vitu ndogo ndogo you know you get what i mean let's take a short break alafu we will be back hello right. and welcome See you to in a bit third topic maze tunataka kuuliza is society that is us tunakwanga nao hapa nyumbani ama pale shuleni wherever we go do they contribute to what we cheat head over to facebook page ukiwa pale nyumbani instagram pia unaweza to follow at y254 channel tuambie do you think that the society contributes to children or students cheating If I take myself as an example, the stress in that you went through all of it was because ni pate job up or injured no. If 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 I knew maybe there's an organization in Gangalia for who I am apart from my grades. Uh singe kwa new pressure out no. But you see the the uh straight jacket that out here is uh your grade reflects who you are. And for that kila mtu anataka Gridzaki ziko pale juu so hiyo hiyo pressure inaendea mwanafunzi. Yes it will because uh, students have been geared up to become number one. And you see life is not like that. Not everyone will be number one. Everyone is blessed in their own way. Everyone has their own talent. So the system that should be adopted is a system that will look at the talents of the student and then grow that talent regardless of whether they'll be number 1 or number 2 so i also don't really recommend the grading system yeah or even if it's the grading system it should be both theoretically and in practical aspects i think at a see pressure basically from their peers also i think pressure from also the teachers parents i believe that uh, education system ya kenya to make in this in this manner that uh, uki fail kcp you won't make it in life okay fail kcse you won't make it in life and as we know education in kenya i can say this system enye nimze the it for is one of the worst i've gone through it and i know so unapata like at a campus mtu uh, amefanya like civil engineering we bring chinese people to build the highways the bridges so then why are our universities teaching the civil engineering so it all boils down to pressure that education yetu ina kwa ngola about you get you mtu anakaram kitabu but ukiambia mtu ni physics mtu atengeneza stima atengeneza boot kama hii hawezi yeye yeah, kazi yake ilikuwa ni ku cram kitabu ya KLB ya physics akapita so our education system somehow i kuzi genius somehow ni all about usome kitabu yani ni system garbage in garbage out inasaidia pia kwa kiwango fulani um, uko na neighbor mwenye amesoma na somanga fiti nasikia anga tu story zake and then kuna wewe hapa hivi ya perform vile Um, so kuna hiyo pressure na kuanga juu yako na kwamba jirani yako ukifanya ujinga fulani kidogo unakemewa lakini ule mse mwingine ni tofauti unaona so inachangia sasa hata ndio unaona wengine wanajua sasa wengine unapata mtu anapatwa dina depression juu sasa sio society na mkata na idai story zake juu ati yeye ni failure but sasa unajua hata sasa wengine masomo aiko ange privilege sana labda uko na talent yako hiyo ndio maybe pia yufanya watu wanakosa kunini wanapata na ma depression wengine wanajiua acha tu mtoto aende afanye exam right yeah kama ni inivo tu kama ni mtu wa camera fine kama ni mtu wa microphone fine don't put someone asoma physics and yeye ni mtu wa football Leave him to football. Okay, but, uh, it's like the expense. We grew up in a society that uh, where people have to be successful, and being successful, you have to be well educated and uh, having passed your exams well. And you can see the great lawyers, the doctors, and other top professionals. Uh, it's all about the education that they have received, that they are successful. So this pressure uh, is amounting to most of the students. Yeah, in our society that in order to be successful we have to always pass your exam well and we have to be well educated so i think it's actually contributing a lot to the shitting of the exam uh, because uh, without uh, being successful in education uh, there is no way that you can make it in life that's what we are 
brought up in, in such a society that you have to be successful in your education in order to be a successful person. I, I don't know whether we are sending the, the, the wrong kind of ideals or we are teaching our, our young students you know, the wrong kind of things. But it, it appears as though there's a value system that supports the corrupt, stealing, you know, people who get money quick or, you know, get what they want quickly. I think there's a value system that is developing to that, to that extent, as opposed to, you know, anyone who works hard will always achieve what they want at the end of the day. So I think, I feel like that is a problem and unfortunately it's, it's everywhere from our leaders to our teachers, our friends, our parents, our entire families. Like, we all support a culture of corruption. And if we don't uproot it, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's a vicious cycle. It will just go on and on. So we have to impart the right values in our students and also in our own families, to beat our children. Uh, our friends, we, we have to really put those right. I'm not contribute because I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to Yes, it does contribute a lot because you can imagine when someone is getting a lot of pressure, they'll try to do what they can just so that they can please everyone. You know, they're not even at this point, they're not even doing it for themselves, they're just doing it to please other people, just to get them off their backs. So, yeah, I think society should totally work on how they think about education because I think the main reason why students are going to school is so that they can get education, not so that they can perform. My unfinished business with this particular topic, niati pressure eco, especially from the parents, anataka ukue kama nani. Be like Karen, because babu alienda alliance. Well, si kuenda alliance, but... <laughs> Uh, those days, Nikiwa Shule, ulikuwa nambi ukwe kama nani anenda alliance, ama ukwe kama nani anenda college fulani, ama ameitwa, ameitwa, easy, easy job my help, you know. So lazima upite, ndu uende easy places. So, guys, wazazi pala nyumbani, tulizeni that pressure, kwa sababu, uh, siwezi kuwa kama nani. Let's all understand that. Kuna watu ufunguka, nenitango ufunguka, nikuwa naita kufunguka, ikiwa, Nikiwa Shule, Kuna hatu ufunguka at some point in life, that is after primary school. But ite miyote ya mekua, eh, kidogo wa mishikilia, that uh, tuseme <laughs> intelligence. So yes, mpatia mtu ite miyake, kila mtu wako na pace yake. Let's call it a pace. Everybody has their own pace. Kuna late bloomers na wenye uu bloom immediately. They are given a challenge and you know, they are successful. And then there are those who take time. Na kuna those two people. Na these two people ndo tumesema system iangalie sana sana. These two people. Uyu anafakwa inside, huyu anafakwa inside. So education system pia he curates exams ama sets za education systems zenye ni zina favor these two guys. So yes, pia society pale tulizeni, tulizeni na sijui na nini number one. Wewe mbono unakuanga number last kila time. Understand, kila mtu kwa na pesi yake, na life ita move on vizuri. Pia walimu pale nyumbani, I mean shuleni, sorry. Uh, mtoto ako shule, alafu juni, number last. Una overlook, unanza kusema wewe, hata you don't give them questions to answer, you don't, uh, you only favor the top students. We saw them, we saw them teachers, those teachers who used to favor top students only. We know you, we know you do that, so kindly stop that and treat each and every student with, you know, uh, their own vile uh, tumto ya na behave I mean come to any rude na nini of course try and tone that down but of course if they're not doing so well make sure help, uh, you help them get to achieve their goals and their dreams in life so guys remember we are on air every Saturday from 7pm na tunakwanga pia tunaleta ka repeat follow Sunday at 1 p.m. You can also stream live. See at you see if you get to watch it. Na kama ukomta z. Unaza stream live kio format. Y254 channel. Let us know mo ni yako. Na mazee changia kwenye kwenye isho juu tuna kwanga kileta pa maswali dot pata solutions. So pia wako kona issues 
related to DM, let us know. I love to tell you how to do it the streets of Nairobi. My name is Karen Jessa, but you can call me Karen Kang on all social media platforms. Facebook, Y254 channel. Tupatane next week. Ciao.